my reliable sources came to me and said, be Octavia. That's not how the murder went down. What's up everybody? It's your girl B Octavia and I am back with another video. Welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is B Octavia. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> I'm 23 years old and I'm from Washington DC. In today's video, I wanted to call out journalists who don't have a problem with putting out false information. And I'm sure if you've been on this journey with me, or you have seen that I have made several retractions, or maybe just one or two retractions to statements that I said. Honestly, I felt like that's something that I had to do, because I never want to put out a false narrative of anything, you know? rectifying or contracting a statement that is not true is what any blogger journalist or whoever is a content creator should do if you are a blogger or a content creator you know on the internet and I'm reporting stories and stuff and you find out that that information is not true well you should rectify that you have to Honestly, it doesn't sit well with me if I have put something out and it is not exactly true. Now, I say all of that to say I will have a couple more Michael Frey videos. And this will be about Michael Frey, but this is really a message to these journalists. A message and a lesson to all of the journalists out there who are posting things about people before their time or even people who are out running around now. My last video about Michael Frey was on his murder. I described or explained what happened before his murder and, and the scenario around his murder. Thank you to my reliable source that watched the video. A source that will not be mentioned out of respect, out of love. One of my reliable sources came to me and said, be Octavia. That's not how the murder went down. I wasn't shocked. Um, I wasn't shocked that it was wrong, but I was more upset at myself for, for reading this article from whoever and just believing it, but I was more upset with the journalist, whoever put this together. That's who I'm upset at because you can't put out this false information, especially about someone's murder you know every detail is very important so you can't really you can't mess it up and if you don't know don't try to get clout off the situation if you if you cannot confirm or deny that that's how it happened down to the you know down to everything that you said if you can't confirm that with anybody that was very close then don't say it don't report it nope because i can only imagine how many views this page has got and that's not really like my thing about journalism and what i want to talk about it doesn't have anything to do with views and that's why i'm so serious about it that's why i'm calling gangsta gangsta inc i'm calling you out you know what i'm saying because i got that from you and yes, taking accountability, I blame myself as well for believing you. But this is what I want to say. So let's get into about his murder. These folks say a relative of him or a close friend was a passenger in the car. They also said that it was a relative or a close friend that was in the car behind Michael Frey's. While they was driving and they hit that street, this Gangsters Inc. says that behind Michael Frey's car got cut off and then the shooter hopped out of the car.
and shot Michael Frey. They say that after Michael Frey got shot, this person that was a passenger in the car did not get shot and drove this bullet-ridden car to the hospital, which was 12 to 15 minutes away. Now, it never happened. Them driving the car, the, the friend driving the car to the hospital never fucking happened. The close friend, relative, you know what I'm saying, never fucking happened. The cutoff situation never fucking happened. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what you get when you believe a horrible, terrible reporter. A terrible journalist who is just out for the money and just out to use a person's name to gain notoriety, to gain respect, and to get recognition for this false information, for this false information that you are telling. So right now I'm going to read verbatim how Michael Frey's murder really went down so I can tell you guys how it really went down. This statement reads, As I recall when Frey was shot, MJ and his partner just left the car on the corner of Bryant and First Street. It was a bloody mess and he may have been shot six times which would have made the car look at least bullet ridden to the first patrol car on the scene. Neither Wayne Perry or Alpo were at the scene, and the person that told them about the scenario was the person that they hired. So they provided details from the scene, from what it looked like to what happened to other people, and that's how they confirmed that that's how it actually happened. So, the simple fact that this person puts out that the car was driven from the murder scene to the hospital, it makes me mad, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you putting out what you want it to happen. Or you're making it like, oh, these people had a conscience. Nah, fuck that. You know, what I can say is they had some type of conscience for shooting him that many times and making the car look a certain way so when they leave the car, it can be found easy. But, come on now, they was in the car. You know, MJ, Michael Anthony, or Anderson, or I think it's Anthony. Michael Anthony Jackson was in the car. That's not what Gangsters Inc. said. And I don't know if Gangsters Inc. is a very reputable, is that, a, is that the word? Reputable site. But I took what y'all said for facts. And I shouldn't have. But shame on y'all. Because that's not how it happened at all. Y'all can't do that. Y'all can't do that at all. So, for future reference, please, 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 do your research. Have somebody who is an actual great source that can tell you that's not right, this is right, the whole thing is wrong. Go back to the drawing board and give you some help. Seriously. And for all of the journalists, future journalists, future bloggers that are watching this, do your research, do it very well, and, yeah. Finding out that his murder didn't go down this way really taught me a lot and really gave me some insight into the journalist that I want to become, you know? I want everything to be correct. And if it's not correct, I'm going to come back with the retraction, I'm going to come back and and make things right. And that's what everybody should do. So, with all of that being said, thank you guys for watching my video. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting. And I will see you in the next one.